I'm uh, David Wetherill. I was born with a bone condition which affects the uh, growth of all my bones. So my joints are quite misshapen and the range of movement is uh, quite limited. Um, so yeah, I, I broke my leg when I was about 10 playing football and uh, I got into table tennis as it was a kind of sport that I can play without too many uh, limitations. And yeah, I've never looked back since. I guess I've played in two Paralympics now and uh, now I'm aiming for a, a third one in Rio. So we'll see how it goes. I started playing table tennis when I was about 10, I guess. Um, and my dad plays as well, so he was quite a big inspiration for me. He, uh, he kind of, I looked up to him when I was younger and I thought I always wanted to be able to beat him and then eventually I started beating him and now he's the one that's trying to beat me. You know, my, my disability and my table tennis career are quite interlinked really because, you know, I, don't, I guess it's kept me so physically active and it's given me a massive goal in life. And uh, I think without that, who knows, you know, like doctors said I'd be in a wheelchair by the time I was a teenager. So that's thankfully not happened and who knows, if it wasn't for table tennis, maybe that would have been true. But yeah, I love table tennis ever since the first time I picked up a bat. Uh, it's such a fast, you know, exciting game. Yeah, like when I was younger, I never really considered myself as disabled as such. And like I kind of wanted to do what all the other kids were doing, like run around, play football. And I guess that translated to table tennis as well. I was always trying to train like an able-bodied athlete, do the shots that they could all do and I think that was good for my game because I kind of never really gave myself a limit but at the same time I used to get frustrated as well when things maybe wouldn't, I couldn't do things that maybe I wasn't capable of uh, physically and I think now I've kind of got a lot more experience where I, I know my limitations and I know what I can do, I know what I can't do. Um, so yeah, I think in, tra in terms of training table tennis, I think there's, a, there's a definitely a certain tactical approach that I've got to approach it differently. Not many people really realise the actual athleticism and like, speed and agility that's required for table tennis. I mean, you've got to be pretty fit to play table tennis at a high level. Um, and I think, you know, going back to London, I think that showed it a little bit, not just in the Paralympic sense, um, of what Paralympic athletes have, how fit they have to be. but. Um, just table tennis in general, I think, you know, you've got to be pretty pretty at the top of your game and pretty physically fit to, to be able to cover that court and, you know, the power and explosiveness of, of, the, of the game is just, it's, and it's getting stronger all the time as well, so, you know, I'm trying my best to try and keep up with everyone else in the world, so. London 2012 was one of the most, well, the best experience of my life um, by a long way. I think everyone knows how good it was and how inspiring it was, not just you know, for Paralympic athletes, but disabled people in general. I think it was, it was quite momentous for the whole kind of Paralympic movement. And um, I didn't manage to win a medal, but hopefully you know, that's inspired me and motivated me even more for, for Rio next year. But yeah, um, don't actually remember doing it that much. That shot was a complete blur. Um, I just remember trying to like, I just wasn't going to let that ball pass me. I just did all I could to get to it. And uh, yeah, I didn't even know it hit the table. I, I had to ask my coach and didn't even know that I'd won the point until I got up and looked at the scoreboard. So yeah, um, had a little bit of a bruise in the morning, but like I said, I was running on pure adrenaline and it was kind of that, that's the kind of moment that you train for. And uh, I think, you know, everything came together perfectly in that moment for that, that shot to happen. So. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, you train to be the best you can be in, in your certain like field. And I think for me, I want to become the best table tennis player I can possibly be. And, you know, I'd like to win a medal in Rio. That's my ultimate aim. And, and if I don't do it in Rio, then maybe Tokyo four years later. But I think I won't be satisfied until that happens. And um, so I'm putting all, all my effort and, and training in the next year to, to try and make that dream happen. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think table tennis is such a amazing sport that any age ability can play and um, no matter what disability or anything so I think you know it's given me such a massive opportunity and I want to make the most of that and uh, hopefully I can do that and it was nice for me to be able to show the world kind of you know with that six million view YouTube shot like what you can achieve um, uh, and to be honest like it really did motivate me for the next four years, like for Rio. And um, you know, I know what I, I know where I went wrong, 
and uh, I know what I need to work on so we'll see how it goes but I'd just love to be able to experience the whole, the whole kind of once in a lifetime kind of thing again hopefully make it twice in a lifetime we'll see